everybody and welcome back to another one of Handbag Angels YouTube videos. Thank you so much for choosing to watch our channel today. Hopefully you will stick around if you are new and hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, hello again and thank you very much for returning. Just a very brief introduction if you are new, if you are not familiar with Handbag Angels, we design and make handbag organisers for your favourite designer bags. We have over 400 unique custom made sizes and I will leave the link to our website in the comments. In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the brand new Chanel Mini Trendy CC. And in today's video, I do also want to do a few comparisons to the small size. Now, upon doing a little bit of research on this bag, I could find almost next to nothing on the internet. It seems like it's a very new bag and there really isn't much information about it online. So hopefully in today's video, I can provide you with all the details on the new Mini Trendy CC from the 24C collection. So first, let's do a bit of an overview on the Mini Trendy and give you a bit of information as to how we have acquired this bag. This bag has actually been sent to us by one of our very lovely customers who wanted some handbag liners designing for her new bag and she also wanted a full protection kit making as well which I will show you a little later on in the video. So that's how this handbag has come into our hands. The trendy bag is by no means a new model by Chanel, this is just a new size that was released in the 24C collection. The bag is also available in the small size which like I said I will be comparing to the mini size in this video and there is also a medium but I do believe that size is now discontinued and you can only buy it on the pre-loved market. So in terms of pricing, like I said, there was really not much information available on the internet about this new size. It isn't on the Chanel website which is very frustrating but to be honest I didn't expect anything different from Chanel because their website is just really strange. They have hardly any of the bags that they actually have in stores on the website. But I do believe that this new mini size retails for just below £5,000. I was able to find the US dollars price and that was 5,600 US dollars. Now that equates to around 5,000 pounds, but um, we do know from speaking to the customer who sent this bag in, that it was just below the 5,000 pounds mark. If you know the exact figure, feel free to pop it in the comments, because unfortunately I really couldn't find it on the internet. I did see this handbag make a feature in one of Handbag Holic's um, shopping vlogs. I think that was last year, I think it was around Christmas time of 2023. Um, if you're not familiar with Handbag Holic, it's a lovely lady called Steph who just talks all things handbags on YouTube. I'll leave her channel linked in the comments. Now I saw this handbag pop up in one of her shopping vlogs and she actually saw it in a lovely like hot pink fuchsia colour. As you can see this one is in the black. I'm really not sure what other colours are available. Um, my best guess would be to perhaps speak to a Chanel sales assistant and get the full details on what colours you can actually buy. But this one is in the black lambskin leather. Now as we know Chanel lambskin leather is just absolutely beautiful. Super buttery and the quilts are just so lovely and puffy. You've got the gold classic CC turn lock on the front and then underneath the handle you have some Chanel branding there as well. The chain is black leather and gold kind of intertwined chain and it's then got a leather shoulder strap. I think a shoulder strap is always a really good addition because chains alone can be a little bit uncomfortable on your shoulder so the fact that it has this shoulder strap I think is a big bonus. As you can see you have the top handle option and the shoulder strap option and then on the back there is the classic Chanel pocket which you get on the back of more or less all the handbags. On the inside there are three different compartments. There is a really small kind of slip pocket at the back, the main compartment in the middle and then a slightly larger kind of pocket on the front. The interior of the bag is burgundy which is a Chanel classic. The burgundy interior is just such a staple of the Chanel aesthetic. And then in terms of pockets there is one internal zip pocket in the middle compartment which is always good for a bit of added security. And then there is a really small slip pocket in the rear compartment, which I don't think you'll be able to see very well. So you essentially get three compartments and then two internal pockets. Next, let's dive into some comparisons between the mini and the small. The small trendy, now this one actually belongs in our own handbag collection. We've had this since 2020. Now currently on the Chanel website, you can actually view the small size and this now retails for 5,800 pounds. When we purchased this in 2020, it was around 
4,500 I want to say. So this has had a huge price increase in those short three years. So the small is essentially about a thousand pounds more expensive than the mini. And here is a quick side by side comparison. Obviously the small is bigger in pretty much all ways. It's bigger on the length and the height. And then here are the two side by side from the side view as well. And then on the back as well. They are pretty much identical except for the size, obviously. And before I dive into what fits in each of the sizes, I do just want to show you the brand new handbag liners that we have designed for the mini size. Now, as far as I'm aware, you will not find these anywhere else. I could not find any other company that sells inserts for the mini trendy CC. So if you are looking for these, then do head to our website. I will link these in the description. And because the bag has three compartments, we of course designed three handbag liners. I will just slot these into each compartment just to show you the fits. Everything that we do here at Handbag Angels is bespoke to the handbag in question. So there is no one size fits all when it comes to handbag liners. We design each size to be a custom fit to each handbag. So these have, of course, been designed especially for the mini trendy. And there is a close up of the fit. So these will provide internal protection to the mini trendy and a little bit of support as well because the lambskin is really soft. Now let's move on to what you can fit inside the Mini Trendy CC. Now I have already done a YouTube short and an Instagram reel on what fits in this bag. So I'm essentially going to replicate that. So first I have an iPhone, which I'm going to pop in the front compartment. And then I have the Louis Vuitton small Kirigami, which is essentially a card holder. And that's gonna fit into the middle compartment. And then I have a Chanel hand cream, a handbag essential. Again, that's gonna go in the middle compartment with the card holder. And in the rear compartment, I'm going to pop my car key. Now I think a full bunch of keys would be a little bit too big for this bag. Hence why I've just removed my car key because that is for me the most important one. And then I have two lip products, which again are going to slot into the back. And that is the mini size, pretty much full up. So this is a really good size for the absolute essentials. Um, I personally don't carry that much. This is probably all I would ever carry with me on a weekend. So for me, this is a really good size. Obviously, if you are somebody who carries quite a lot, then this might not be the size for you. You might want to size up to the small, but then you can see as well, it does actually close. The turn lock is secured with all that inside. So for a mini bag, I don't think we're doing too bad. A lot of mini bags don't even fit a phone inside. So I think this is quite a good size for a mini handbag. Now I'm going to do the same with the small size, just so you can get an idea of how much more you can actually fit in the small. It is surprisingly quite a big jump in size. I think mainly because the small is a little bit thicker and it feels a lot more bulky and you can therefore get more in. So I have swapped the Louis Vuitton Kirigami card holder for a Chanel compact wallet, which is a lot bulkier. You can fit a lot more inside it. And that's going in the middle compartment. Again, along with the Chanel hand cream, which I also popped into the mini size. Again, I've got an iPhone, which I'm gonna pop in the front compartment. And then also in the front, I'm going to pop my car key and my lip balm. In fact, no, I'm gonna put my lip balm in the back compartment instead. And I've got two actually like I did with the mini. And then another addition to the small size, which didn't fit in the mini is my mini hairbrush. This comes everywhere with me. I think it's so handy to have. And that's gonna slot into the back. In fact, I'm gonna swap the car key for the hairbrush. Pop the hairbrush in the front and the car key in the back. And there we have the small size full up with a little bit of room to spare in the back compartment. Um, however, you would only get really small items because the back compartment is basically like a slip pocket. And then let's just check that it closes with all that inside. You do have to push it down a little bit more. However, the turn lock does secure and all that is safely inside the small trendy CC. So you can definitely get a little bit more into the small size. But again, if you carry a lot, it could still be too small for you. And you might just want to consider a different Chanel model altogether. I think because the trendy has the three split compartments, that does limit you on space a little bit. If it was just one big main compartment, I do think it would be a lot easier to fit more in. However, having the three compartments does allow better organization. So it's kind of two sides to it. I will now pop on the screen some mud shots of me styling both sizes. You can get an idea of the chain length and the way they kind of sit on me. I am around five foot six for reference. Um, so just kind of gives you a good idea of the sizing when you're actually wearing the bags. Whilst they're on the screen, I do want to discuss some pros and some cons. And I'm going to start with the small. I do think, for me anyway, it's a little bit too bulky. That's one con of the small. However, you can fit quite a bit more in. So again, it's kind of two sides to that one. I do think that the mini kind of sits a lot nicer in comparison to the small, but that's kind of personal preference. It depends on your size and your height and all things like that. Now for some pros and cons of the Trendy CC model in general. I do think the Trendy bag is a very elegant option of a Chanel bag. It's also a very refreshing and a very nice change to the classic flaps 
the boy bags, you know, the bags that everybody kind of goes for. The trendy does make a really nice change on the eye and it's just something that necessarily not everybody has in comparison to a classic flat. However, I don't think that the trendy bag is a classic bag. I don't think it's a part of Chanel's classic handbag range. Therefore, it may not hold its value as well as a classic flat or a boy bag. Having said that though, like I mentioned at the start, our small trendy CC has gone up over a thousand pounds in three years since we bought it, but on the secondhand market, it may not reflect that as well if you were to sell it one day. So do bear in mind that it may not hold its value as well as a classic handbag such as the classic flap, boy bag, reissue. I do like the fact that the trendy bag gives you a top handle and a shoulder strap option. However, I do wish that you could remove the longer strap because sometimes I find it a little bit annoying if you were just carrying your bag by the top handle, perhaps on an evening. You've then just got this strap kind of hanging. Continuing on with the chain, it's not adjustable. It is just one size, which may be a bit of a limitation to some people. I do like my handbags to sit quite high and it is ever so slightly too long for my kind of preferred length. But again, that's personal opinion. And then another kind of con, um, and this is also again, very personal, but I am quite wary of Chanel lambskin. I much prefer a caviar leather handbag just because they are more durable. I wouldn't be worrying as much about scratching it, catching my nails on it or keys I might have in my bag. I do think caviar kind of removes that worry, but you might love Chanel lambskin. You might love using it. It's just for me, I find it a little bit too delicate. And I think I have summed up kind of the pros and cons. If you have any questions on the trendy bag, the mini or the small, please, please drop them in the comments. And if you would like to shop our handbag liners, like I mentioned, I will drop them in the description. Thank you very much for choosing to watch our video today. Hopefully you'll be back for our future videos. Thank you and I will see you soon.